conversations getting complicated, I could tell ya, uh, 15 was in them handcuffs for paraphernalia, I grew up in them trenches, boy, your house had wine cellar, if anybody ever had a problem, gave them hell, I got my auntie, brother's daddy, cousin, backstage passes, everybody celebrating with they champagne glasses, I'm just sitting full of pain as I'm touring the country, thought the stress-free life was gonna come with the uh, money, I got my head up in the clouds, living off daydreaming, still high up off a of life, I know my light ray beaming, got a out the river, nigga, now I'm straight mainstreaming Flowing heavy, remember uncle drove his Chevy on his wrist Was a stolen roly Prezi, couldn't tell him shit Arrogance is deadly in the moment, damn he relished it Matching chain, embellished it Drug dealer dreams with prison nightmares Was tight red, and if the shoe fits, I'll buy the right pair But shit be getting worse about the second, I'm guessing Put a smile up on my face, cause life is all about perception Tell my niggas that I'm happy, happiness manifesting Even even though it's quite the opposite, but shit, I'm digressing, okay Conversations getting complicated, I could tell ya, uh 15 was in them handcuffs with paraphernalia I grew up in them trenches, boy, your house had wine cellar If anybody ever had a problem, gave them hell I got my auntie, brother's daddy, cousin, backstage passes Everybody celebrating with they champagne glasses I'm just sitting full of pain as I'm touring the country Thought the stress-free life was gonna come with the money Conversations getting complicated, investigated now You can't shit on me, you pussy niggas is constipated now Big VF for life, the biggest rabbit in the nation now You can't shit on me, you pussy niggas is constipated now Niggas can't shit on me, piss a set trip on me Play me like I'm pussy and once you in I burn like Simpsons G Younger did a beer for me, I'm a slap for him cause he's sleeping me Know that you feeling this gangsta shit, I can feel it all Currently, we're at mile four I just stopped right before this really pretty spot that I'm about to approach so I can put on my GoPro on my helmet. The reason why I haven't been wearing it yet is because like it's just kind of heavy to be honest. I wouldn't have thought about that and the scenery there like what I just biked the first four miles are not very pretty but now that we're closer to the city we just passed Watertown. This you see here that I was showing in the car is just grease I get every time. I put this bike into the van because it's just really hard to get in there. Ruined the stance socks too. Like I had brand new white stance socks that got ruined. This is old. This is from the last time I went biking because these are like my favorite shorts. This bike ride is harder than me than usual and I don't know if it's because I just had COVID so my lungs are like damaged or if I'm genuinely out of shape or I think the wind is not in my favor. So hopefully it will be on the way back. Yeah, I'm feeling it. It's going against me right now. Also, I brought more stuff this time. I usually just bring water and a speaker, but now I have like cameras and I don't really know. Like, I didn't really stick this on very well, but we'll see. Oh my God, I look, I look goofy. Mile four, hopefully we can get at least 10 more miles in. Hopefully not. I mean, probably not, but hopefully. Now I'm seeing tears in her eyes 
seven of my bike ride. I usually go around like the Harvard campus, but I've only done that in the summertime. I hate vlogging in fucking public. Anyways, I was biking through the Harvard campus and I was like, wait, there's so many people here. I was like, oh wait, I literally know someone who goes to Harvard, Justin. And I took a point five in the middle of the campus, like right there. And I, would I sent it to Justin and Justin was like, wait, are you here? And that's Justin's dorm. So we came down, we had a little chat. It was awesome seeing you, Justin. After that, I biked around Cambridge a little bit. It's a beautiful city, it's super cute. And I'm definitely gonna bike here more often because the Harvard campus is one really nice, city's really nice, and it's different from Boston. So, you know. I probably won't get to go into Boston anymore because I have to head back because I have to be back in like 30 minutes and it's gonna take me like an hour. So maybe not good planning on my part. I'm definitely biking here a lot more. It's very beautiful. And I'm sweaty. And also there's a lot of good like restaurants around here like Milk Bar, Insomnia Cookies.